Oh, God. Oh, I, I'm guys. doing this despite my I, my staff is saying get Rappaport on today. I said, are, are, are we going to have, against my better judgment, you're going to go crazy. No, I'm not going to go crazy. First of all, let me tell you something, <laughs> Colin. What happened last, first of all, it, it ain't Seattle we're talking about, my friend. We're talking about New York. You know how New Yorkers get to, excuse me, you know how New Yorkers get to the games? <laughs> we ride the trains, we ride the buses, yeah. or we walk on our feet. Okay, and we got our 50 cent cup of coffee. Charles Oakley represents that train ride. Okay, what happened last night was a tipping point for all the New York Knicks fans. This has been going on since 1973. It exemplifies our frustration our dysfunction and our heartbreak since 1973. The last time we had a hope of winning a championship, you know who was an all-star? First team defense? Charles Oakley. Okay? Every team needs a Charles Oakley, whether it's Udonis Haslam with the big three down in Miami or Rick Fox protecting uh, Shaq and Kobe. The prettiest, the prettiest goon in NBA history, Rick Fox. He wasn't a goon. But the prettiest goon was Rick Fox because every team needs him. For you to discredit him, this is a guy who his career was almost a double-double. First team defense. He wasn't just a goon. How dare you say that? He wasn't just, he wasn't one of the Davis boys. This is an all-star player who, 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 during that 94 team, if John Starks had made a couple of those three-point plays no. and we won the ring, you think that Charles Oakley wouldn't be getting, sitting courtside whenever he wants? Okay, first of all, uh, this whole thing about New Yorkers. Hey, Goulet, you're from Connecticut. You ever Connecticut. Notice, that you, doesn't count. You ever, that don't that count. Doesn't you ever count. notice New Yorkers always do this? That's not the Here's same. what New Yorkers always do. Hey, we walk uphill. We walk to school uphill. We have a 50. You know what New York is? That's a Chicago accent. You know what New York that is? That's a New York accent. You know what New York, New York is today? Go ahead. It's private equity DBs no. and no. Wall Street Joel. finances. Forget the gentrified Manhattan and the hipsters out in Brooklyn. New York City is made of hard-nosed, tough working, never never say die, never quit, never give up attitude. What you see on the TV show, girls and all these other <laughs> sex in the city, that ain't New York. Manhattan ain't New York. Where you get your tailored shoot, suits down in Soho, that ain't New York. That, that's the and New York I know. That's the New, yeah, but that ain't New York. What's that's New the, York? That, New York is New York is the five boroughs. New York is a grit. New York is all encompassing. New York is, is, is the epicenter for, for, for everybody. And Charles Oakley will be revered in that city so, because of what he did on the court. And for him to be treated like that. Listen, I know his behavior wasn't great last wasn't night. It wasn't great. Okay. But it's first, humiliated. But wasn't though. great. But 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 you're, you you said your sources said who's your sources? I got a lot of sources. Who are your sources? Let's call them up. Yeah, I got friends too. They told me that they were sitting there. Oakley wasn't saying anything. They sent over the goons for the real goon. Oh. And he said, What are you looking at? He's frustrated. You know, and let me tell you something. He Charles Oakley hasn't been associated with the Knicks. You know why? Because he spoke out against the Knicks. You know who else? Well, he was very vulgar in a yeah. magazine article. Okay, very you know, vulgar. You know who else gave constructive criticism about the Knicks who? and who's no longer associated? with the Knicks, Who? a gentleman by the name of Marv Albert. He gave constructive criticism yeah. for the Knicks, and he's no longer the broadcaster for the Knicks. He's a you fine know, broadcaster. He's He's, a, he's, a, he's an American piece of platinum. He's more of a Nick than anybody. Mar Robert was the ball boy for the Knicks when he was nine years old. Here comes Willis. I, Here I, comes Willis. Want to hear something? 18 footer. Yes. Yes. Not bad. And and he's not a so so you can't give constructive criticism for the Knicks or you get a you get that's okay, it. Okay, but Oakley's got a history, ejections, fouls, new in double Vegas, doubles. He, Vegas, he's getting sued. Yeah, Last well they year, put him in a neck brace in Vegas. They beat him up a little. I'm not saying he's a perfect guy, but as far as what as far as what he represents to New okay, Yorkers. Okay, let's look at this video last night. Let's okay. look at this video Show last the video. night. So a guy, a security guy comes up, he starts pointing, pushing, grabbing. Mm, don't touch me. Don't, oh, don't you put your hands on me. And the first guy, he mushed him with the finger. He almost knocked him out with a finger mush. <laughs> this is, this is, I'm not saying this is a good look for anything, but this, this exemplifies how many fans, New York Knicks fans, would have loved to have gone up to Dolan and be like, what the heck is going on, man? What is going on? I can't. Now look I'm, at that. You can't really treat security ten, like that. I, I know you can't. Them to but, carry him out. And you know what? Those guys that, that he's pushing are probably the same guys that were working security when he was on the court diving, getting double doubles. You know who those guys are? They're from Staten Island. They're hardworking from, guys. Yeah, and he's picking on your hardworking guys. Hey, that's, that's the dysfunction of the New York Knicks. There's a civil war going on. Within the New York Knicks fans, we got the, the New York Post arguing with the, the, the Daily News. 
Charles Oakley is not just a goon. You know, I interviewed Charles Oakley on the street, an impromptu interview. I have it. We have a piece of that video. You were talking about an incident in the 90s where he smacked another player. You know who the other player was? Barkley. Yeah, a a so-called tough guy. Okay, look what he told me when I asked him in front of a hot dog stand. You know what a hot dog stand in New York is? Of course I do. Okay, I'm not sure you do, Colin. (laughs) I'm not sure you ever had a hot dog. Or not true that during the NBA lockout a few years ago, you smacked fire at a Charles Barkley. That's true. Yeah. So you're advocating violence. No, I'm not advocating violence. <laughs> but I'm saying every team has had these guys. And But for you to discredit the, his career. Uh, whoa, 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 and your out. boy LeBron, Mr. Winner, last night, you know, you know, Mr. Mr. He stays in the shadows. He goes on Twitter and he posts a yeah. picture of Charles, Charles Oakley and he says, mood. And what does he do the next day? He sits out a game. No, that ain't your mood. Charles Oakley didn't sit out games, okay? Don't yeah, post pictures of Oakley and then sit out a game the next night. LeBron, you don't have, you're not built of the same fabric, my friend. The only thing that you have in common is that you're from Cleveland. So is Bobby <laughs> Womack, the great Bobby Womack. <laughs> Shout out to Bobby Womack. Okay, Goulet, what is your takeaway on this? Is, I to, did I tell you? Mr. You Connecticut? You can't yeah, edit Rappaport. He comes How on. did I get dragged into this? Yeah, I can't say Connecticut. anything. Listen, I love being, everything that you're saying. Everything. Thank you, Christine. So you're not Christine. on his side Thank with you. this this outrageous what did behavior. Say? I'm on the what? You're on his side. Oh, yeah. This is you're the establishment here, Colin. The establishment. The establishment. I left the establishment. Establishment to come over to a fledgling company. A f- fledgling. I'm, I'm like Orville and Wilbur Wright. No, I'm inventing a like plane he over so here. He just much. called it fledgling. Is this thing still on? <laughs> Did they, they just they put <laughs> No, he but gave I'm so much to New York, and he feels humiliated and disrespected. So if, could you imagine being in that situation? Oh, let me let me get this. Time out. You want to defend Carmelo while you're at it? No, I don't want to defend him, and I don't want to defend Phil. They're both they're both guilty. <laughs> okay, Carmelo. Listen, I have First problems. Smart with, thing you've said in eight minutes. No, I. Colin, listen, if we were in New York right now, I I would have to walk you down the street because the people would be trying to attack you right now. Okay, we're in the cush of Hollywood and Beverly Hills. You could walk away unscathed. But but don't, (laughs) listen, when Colin's in New York, people, I'm going to tell him right now. I'm going to look into the camera. Leave this man alone. He's just a confused, good man. He's gone Hollywood. He's gone soft. He's now the establishment. Carmelo Anthony, listen, he needs to play on a team. He hasn't been a winner, a true winner, since he was at Syracuse. He's a great offensive machine. Yes, he is. He's under siege, though, by his owner and his GM, Phil Jackson, who is, who is, not, who is not, not guilty here. Yeah. What he, he needs to get off Twitter, and so does the pres- president of the United States. Okay? Yes, I agree with it, that, It's actually. not appropriate what he does. But as far as – so I think that Carmelo should go. We need to blow it up. But, and then people are saying, Phil Jackson, he's lost it. Phil Jackson – Forget who he coached, the obvious, the Jordans and the Kobe's. The people that he played with, when he's judging a player, whether he's playing hard, whether he's tough, he played with Willis Reed, Dr. Dick Barnett, Dave DeBusher. He traded sweat against Dave Cowens, the big three, uh, Jerry West, Elgin Baylor, Will Chamberlain. These are guys he played against. So if he reads a guy and says, you know what, this guy isn't playing hard. He played against the, the, the guys who are in the offseason. Are you defending Phil or ripping him? I, I'm defending him. But I'm defending that he knows basketball. He yes. knows basketball players. He played with and yes. against guys that had to have jobs during the offseason because NBA wasn't making a living. Phil Jackson knows if a guy is trying his hardest. And he, so he, they're both, they're both, yeah. I, honestly, I think they both need to go. Yeah, I agree with you. I actually, At this you, point, yeah. I I feel like they both need to go, and it breaks my heart because I love Phil Jackson and I love Carmelo. But I think the whole there's just dysfunction. Can you come back to this? Charles Oakley has a little bit of an anger issue. Can we not? Of course ag- he does. So do I. <laughs> Who doesn't? I seen you in the back room. Listen, Colin on TV. You're well put together. You're calm. The back room. This guy's throwing punches at people. <laughs> come He's on. tried to leg sweep me in the in the thing. He said we're not on the air. Rap report. He tried to kick me in the oh like an my. MMA fighter. This guy's you a wild card off of, the air. You're out of control. All right. What are your projects? Okay. He's got a, a I am Rap Report stereo pod. Oh, stereo podcast. I am Rap. We're in stereo. I don't know By what you're in over I lo- here. I love how you make every New Yorker's a tough guy. You're the fashion capital of the world. You have private equity zillionaires <laughs> everywhere. All the great artists in New York. Suddenly, every guy in New York's. <laughs> Charles Oakley. Yeah, you're, talking no, about, you're, you're generalizing. Yeah, you're, 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 you're talking about the Cafe Olay drinkers yeah. down in, in Soho where you get your, your custom shirts. I ain't talking about I'm talking about the everyman in New York City. The hard, they exist just because they don't show it on TV and on HBO. Every man I meet in New York City Got a big expensive cup You're of coffee. You're between 14th Street. You're between 14th Street and West Broadway. I'm talking about the real people of New York. My father's there on the Upper East Side. What's he doing right now? He's, he's at home going crazy because what happened with Charles Oakey? He's screaming, so Attica, Attica, he's 83. <laughs> 
Your dad needs medicine. If I was in New York last night, Come on. I would have went to the station oh. and I would have bailed him out myself. I would have bailed him out myself. Okay, we got to go. An American treasure. They locked him up. Free Oakley. There's a man in New York screaming Attica in his apartment right now in New York City. Literally, there's an old lady next to his dad yeah. who's yelling Attica. Yeah, in a pair, in a pair, a pair of bikini okay, underwear. Okay, God, hell. It's 83. All right. It looks great. I can't even read the ads right now. They're inappropriate.